apparently now is the perfect time to clean my windows. Oh, this is very awkward. Very awkward. Okay, he's moved on. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to a new video and possibly a new installment in the Pin Curl Diaries. I'm not doing pin curls once again as most episodes of the Pink Curl Diaries, but I am doing the vintage brush out. And today I want to tackle the one thing, I guess, that I still cannot get down, and that is the pinup hair. So it's basically your vintage brush out, but done in a little bit of a different way. Um, it's more kind of sleek and smooth and polished and more of that kind of rockabilly pinup vibe. Um, a little bit more modern also, I'd say. And I think what many people imagine when you say, you know, vintage hair. So <laughs> if you've been following my hair tutorials for a while, you might know that sleek and perfect hairstyles aren't really my specialization. I am uh, much better at hairstyles that are messy and romantic and kind of loose curl and things like that. Doing a hairstyle that is exact like this is something that I struggle with a lot. But that's also something that I want to tackle because, you know, you need to work on your weaknesses. That's important. So that's what we're doing today. I have my hair up in rollers, my favorite rollers, and I watched a bunch of videos by beautiful vintage ladies who do that amazing pinup hair. And I think I know the trick. I think I know where my problem lies. And that is um, that for a long time now, I have kind of refused to use hair products. I think this is a remainder from my time on the long hair community forum. <laughs> That kind of sparked my dislike towards hair products, but yeah, you can't do a sleek and perfect hairstyle without hair products. So today I have hairspray. I got this hairspray that is supposed to be better for your hair, fight dryness. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And the second thing I need to do is also something I don't like to do too often, and that is backcombing. Yes, coming from the person who has done 18th century hair on multiple occasions, but Today I'm going to combine all of that and hope that it brings me those beautiful, big, voluminous, glamorous pinup waves. Enough chatting, let's just get started and do this and hope that it actually works. First step is to take down my roller set. I also did my roller set a little bit differently. I followed Pinup Palmer, I believe was her name, Pinup Palmer's uh, roller set so all of this on the top is rolled backwards and everything else is rolled down uh, which is fairly similar to how i usually do it just a little bit different so let me take down those curls see what we have to work with today it's always a surprise Alright, so far so good. Looks like a nice set. I hope the curls didn't come out too big, but we'll have to wait and see. Now I think I'm just gonna brush it out first and then back home after. So I'm just using my tangle teaser here for now for my initial brush through. Alright, this is fairly similar to how I would normally do this. And as you can see, it's frizzy, so we'll need to combat that, but we'll also need to do some backcombing. So if I understand correctly, I'm just to take these front sections Hairspray the roots There we go and then back comb. And in most of the videos I saw, the ladies back combed until like maybe halfway down their hair. All right, then moving on to the section behind that. Thank you. 
somehow I find it hard to imagine that backcombing will make my hair less frizzy, but it should. It actually should. Let's just keep going. All right, <laughs> that's big hair. <laughs> so same thing on these sections here, side of the hair. By the way, guys, I don't know if you've noticed, but I actually did my makeup for this one. I did eyeshadow and false eyelashes and everything. <laughs> and I must say, I'm quite proud of it. I wanted to go the full, you know, full mile, go all the way into the pinup world. <sighs> okay, <laughs> other side, let's just keep going and this will come together eventually, I hope. Oh, there's the window cleaner again. Oh, this is even worse than last time he saw me. I'm just gonna not look him in the eye and pretend he's not there. Maybe it helps. Okay. Oh my gosh, he's looking. Stop looking. Stop looking at me, please. Okay, he's gone. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough backcombing for now. I think my hair is big enough. Is it? Is it? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I'm just gonna try it um, this way and see how far we get with this. So... Okay, I'm gonna try and smooth out the top then so that it is no longer this massive and frizzy. Oh boy. <laughs> um, all right, uh, let's try and work on this. So I'm supposed to back home that as well. That's not how it looks when she does it. Let's try again. Maybe a different brush? Maybe this one? <laughs> what am I doing wrong? <laughs> I thought I knew how to do hair, but this, this is just a mystery to me. No, every time I back home, it just goes more frizzy, which makes total sense, because that's what backcombing does. So how come when those ladies do it, it just looks really beautiful and glamorous? What is up with that? I'm not loving the front here. Let's go back and redo that tease here. I need duckbill clips. Okay. So, hmm. <laughs> do I need to tease more? Do I need to tease less? Uh, I feel like it's not coming together the way I'd hoped. Maybe. Maybe my hair is just too thin for this. For it to look, you know, that way. Maybe my tools aren't right. <laughs> I feel like my hair is completely flat. In the back, so maybe I need to back home there a bit more. Maybe that'll help. But I do have to say, with the way this is going, as beautiful and glamorous and gorgeous and voluminous as it looks on those ladies, I kind of feel like I'm turning into a Lego head. <laughs> with kind of helmet hair. I don't, I don't know. I, mm, I don't feel like this is turning out to look better than when I do a vintage set my way. Maybe I needed slightly tighter curls to do this right. Although I must say the hairspray is definitely smoothing out my flyaways. Hmm. So if I take these out now, is this pinup hair? Maybe? I don't know. I feel like it's closer to pin up hair than I have gotten before and I'm pretty sure that is 
due to the teasing. And okay, I have to say it does look quite nice. I do actually like it. Maybe I need to make this front tease even bigger. Maybe that's the thing that isn't really working here. Maybe it just needs to be more dramatic. Yes, I just spent all that time working on those front curls and now I ruined them. This might do the trick. Hairspray. Try and turn those ends inwards. Okay. Oops. Carefully now. Carefully. <laughs> okay. I think I think that extra tease did it, and now I actually do feel like we are slowly approaching in a pair territory. Again, I do think my curls could have been a little bit tighter for, um, you know, more of a sexy pinup and less of a queen in the 1960s. <laughs> but I, I do actually really like it. I think it looks very glamorous. Let me just oh, hairspray those ends down. I have no idea how this looks from the back. So I'm gonna show you and then probably be embarrassed when I watch this back. I did work it um, very front oriented, so it might not look too great from the back. But I have no idea. No idea. But from the front, <laughs> I must say I do actually like it. That um, backcombing, although I couldn't really get the backcombing to work on the bottom of my hair, around here on the top, I do think it worked. Um, I especially like this. I think I'm gonna actually keep doing this, the front backcomb here on top. I actually really like how that looks. Uh, there is obviously still room for improvement, but this is the first time I am attempting it this way. So I think with practice, I might get better. I'll see what this hairspray does to my hair and whether I'm willing to use that more often or not. But I do have to say it does look nice. I do think the hairspray really helps to make this look a little bit more polished and help tame those flyaways a bit. because I'm able to smooth everything down. And that does help give it a bit more of a polished and glamorous look. I think we have ourselves a final result here, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know if any of you have any tips on how to make a hairstyle like this a little bit more sleek and perfect. Maybe some of you have more experience with the pinup hair, um, pinup type of hair. This is it, guys. You've seen the back. I haven't yet. I'm gonna take a look in a second. <laughs> Fingers crossed it's good from the back as well. But if not, I'm just gonna take a lot of selfies from the front and enjoy the way it looks from this side. So yeah, that is it guys for now. I really hope you enjoyed going on once again this pinup curl journey with me that is still not finished because I still haven't gotten perfection. And that is what I'm going for here. So we'll get there someday, I'm sure. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for lots more beauty, lifestyle, sewing, fashion content. If you would like to support me through Patreon or my merch store, there are links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye! I just checked the back. I think it looks all right. Not as bad as I feared. If I kind of pull it, pull it towards the center, I think it looks pretty good. Yay. <laughs>